Sorry about the graphic images, people. He had a degloving accident when I found him, and this time his bandage fell off at home. Meow. Meow. Hey everyone, Bella Cat here, proud owner of seven rescued and adopted cats. Every week I share videos that share how I raised seven cats in a tiny, incy bincy little apartment. And it's basically to inspire, to resonate, and also to communicate with any potential multi-cat parents out there. I believe that everyone can adopt and or rescue more because everybody knows somebody that can help. If you're new to my channel, don't forget like, comment, subscribe. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what happened to this guy and how I changed his bandage. Burrito was a cat I found in Malaysia and he had a gloved tail. Basically, all of the flesh was pulled off of his tail. So in his recovery, trying to uh, keep as much of his tail as possible, I have to change his bandage every day and wash his wounds. And as I mentioned, because it's just me against seven cats, uh, sometimes I have to think of some pretty funky ways to make it work when it comes to slapping that bandage back on him. Yeah, let's take a look. And you can see my cats are all scared and they got good reason to be. And it's very traumatic for everyone because his bandage fell off. And worse yet, it's only me that's at home. So you can imagine I have to wrestle him and calm him down, but yet I only have two hands. This guy loves food, so food is his biggest nemesis. This is something that the vet gave me. It's like a spray bandage, but it does sting a little bit. But the best part is food is his biggest attraction or distraction. It just breaks my heart, but what can I do? I have to think of all sorts of ways to make it work. And actually at this point, um, he's more like, scared. He is in pain, but he's more scared because look at all that blood. Imagine yourself, you know, having a bandage that fell off. And you're bleeding all over the place. So my job is to spray that bandage on his tail while trying to keep him distracted. Sorry about feeding him with my toes. Uh, yeah, my cats got really scared. Anyway, this is the bandage already. The spray bandage is on. All I have to do is just put it on like a glove and tape it on. And I have to care about the other cat's feelings while I'm trying to fix his bandage, which can pose a challenge because they have no idea what's going on. Well, I mean, neither does Burrito. <laughs> so I guess in a way, this is a good distraction for now. <sighs> okay, finally did it. This is not the best way to do it, but because there's only me and him, he's bleeding, he was scared and he's just struggling. So the best way to do it is to do a spray bandage, which does sting a little bit, and to have the bandage just loosely cupped on. So this will stay until he calms down, until the bleeding stops, then I can put it on the proper way. With that said, this does break my heart, seeing him lick off his own blood. Oh, what can I do? Uh, it's just me and him, and this is the best I can do given the circumstances and the fact that I only have two hands. See, this morning this guy was still like growling and scratching and wanted me dead. And now he's all good now. Ah, oh, thank God. All good. He's all good. And I think all that was worth hey, it. Buddy. So I think this guy has like the perfect temperament because for most cats, they probably hate me by now. Yep. But for him, he knows, like, you know, the bandage incident is one thing and the usual interaction is another. Yeah, I think he knows what's going on, that's the thing. We should all learn from this guy, really. He's definitely a trooper. And then, yeah, several minutes later, he's starting to wrestle my other cats. And of course, there's some battle scars. It's not too bad this time, actually. But uh, yeah, this was my funky way to feed him while trying to change his bandage. Thanks so much to the designs that moms can think of. Oh God, that's so hard to look at. But hey, we made it again. 
Well, thanks for surviving another day with us. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, and I'll see you soon. Thanks again for being around. Thank you.